one of the pivotal dates in the series, the 1949 S. Roosevelt dime ranks second in scarcity only to the Philadelphia Mint's 1955 production of 12,450,181 pieces. Despite a minting of 13,510,000 pieces, this coin cannot be deemed truly rare. Nevertheless, it stands out as one of the more captivating pieces in the series and carries a premium compared to the other, more frequently encountered, years. Welcome back to Coin Oz. In today's video, we'll delve into the intriguing world of numismatics by exploring Roosevelt dimes minted in 1949 at the San Francisco Mint. Are these coins valuable, and do they pose a challenge to find? To uncover the answers, stay tuned until the end of the video. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below to stay updated on all things coin-related. Let's embark on this numismatic journey together. According to article published by CoinWeek.com, while the 1949 S. Roosevelt dime has an estimated average rarity of 1 in all grades, and 2.2 in MS-65 or better, it is one of the only regular strike Roosevelt dimes that commands a numismatic premium over the coin's base bullion value in the lower range circulated grades. In fact, the 1949 S. dime generally realizes about twice the value of other Roosevelt dimes in moderately to lightly worn grades. These mid-range examples, 35 to 55, generally sell for between $5 and $10. According to PCGS CoinFax, there are an estimated surviving 1,351,000 pieces and approximately 80,000 pieces are in 65 or better for a survival rate of 0.6%. This is one of the most valuable specimens sold at auctions. Showcased at Great Collections Auctions this toned MS-68 gem with full bands fetched a sum of $11,812.50 with buyer's fee. The 1949S also has two different repunched mint mark varieties, the RPM001 and 002. Since the mint mark was hand punched into the dies by a mint worker after the working dies were cut from the master die, there can be slight positioning errors creating overlapping mint marks from when the money are attempted to fix offset impressions with repeated strikes. The cardinal compass points are used to describe the location of repunched mint marks by using the second mint mark as the descriptor. RPM001 has a slight westerly drift and RPM002 has a more noticeable northwesterly drift. Depending on the condition of the host coin, RPM examples of the 1949S can expect a $5 to 10 increase in value. This video was based on article published at coinweek.com. Subscribe to our channel for more captivating coin-related content. And don't forget to smash thumbs up button. God's willing, see you in the next episode.